Honestly, I've never felt better in my life. It takes character, fortitude, and deep wisdom and insight to make one's soul as prosperous, rich, radiant, and brilliant as I have made mine. It is unfathomable to think that anyone who's involved in this story is the main character other than myself. It is unthinkably ignorant for one to not see that I have won a great victory while being the top martial artist and possibly the most insightful person on the planet at the same time. It is ridiculous and quite apparently wicked for one not to acknowledge that when whites have gone out of their way to hinder my progress they have spent more money in the attempt to hinder my progress than any revolutionary in history think about it think about all the psychiatrists all the informants all the gas all the technology that was used in the process of discrediting me Think about all the insurance money that was paid out. Think about all the loss that humanity has suffered for people such as myself to be put in a situation where the obvious application of their deep intelligence should be directed in a unilateral effort to save mankind from cultural imperialism, secret societies, and unscrupulous agents of the devil. It is quite clear that the same bootlicking cowards that would have you believe that Christianity is a lie, that God does not exist, and that the only evil out there is a bunch of Arabs and random unorganized criminals, when historically organized crime has been the most insidious and decisive when it comes to the fate, destiny, and direction of mankind. My argument was not just viable, but it was absolutely true. When the wise archer is a black militant and looks at society and within himself to see the problem, he quickly comes to the conclusion that to fix himself, he must fix all the problems that oppress his progress in society first. Only Jesus of Nazareth and Bethlehem could have walked through the streets the way he did and at the same time what lessons does it teach us? That in order for Jesus to secure his place in heaven in order for him to secure his place in man's heart, mind, and soul, he had to fix the problems in society, not the problems in himself. The prophets chose to fix the problems in society, not the problems in themselves. Only a bunch of scum who withhold the truth or are completely ignorant and out of touch would come to the wicked conclusion that you should take the resources from African people and not include the people in the decision-making process. Regardless how they appear, their decision-making process is determined by evil, period. My decision-making process is determined by God. Even if all logic would say that I am wrong, actions and the word in scripture would direct every moral and upright citizen to join my movement. Even if my movement failed, quote unquote, it is better to not include the evil ones and to fail than to include the evil ones and set up the situation for evil to rule again and again and succeed. I would argue that my movement cannot fail because too many people are privy to what is going on, to the activities and the truth therein. 
at the end of the day, even if I die today, I have one. I am closest to God in my generation. There is no greater gift than that. I am the hero. A bunch of cowards who get more views would say that they are the hero. But you know the hero by who is being punished. And who was punished more than I was? A person who was supposed to walk on the clouds, oppressed his whole life by a bunch of unscrupulous scum. The only way to be oppressed in society more than a poor... The only way to be oppressed more than a black man in the ghetto is to be a black prophet and brain surgeon's son who lives like those in the ghetto. It's a result of white Western capitalist sabotage. He would have been a great pharaoh otherwise. But Eurocentric devils took it upon themselves to plague the world with their Eurocentric devil thought, including my family. It was in the form of psychiatry, in the form of institutions that apply psychology, such as law enforcement and schools. If by now you don't agree, you'll be burning in hell with the rest of the fools. Can't you hear them screaming? Can't you hear the cinders, the flaming timbers? They fry. I was a prophet that foresaw that they all were gonna die. They thought it was my plan and I was foreshadowing. I told them it was the devil I'm battling. They were snakes rattling and man didn't see. So they were called out by a divine being. They were called out by me. Called out like Poseidon calling out in the sea. Calling out like Heru. Flying around as he soared. Calling out like Tefna with rain as it poured. Calling out like Osiris at heaven's door, calling out through the black. I was calling out attack. Devils were getting murdered, not just smacked. Why were they so stupid? They mocked God as if he wouldn't do it. The prophets they warned. The locusts, they swarm. But that's not to be confused with the lotus. My truth, it blossomed. And God took notice. Shurukins, I throw this. Just like knives. They were waiting with candlesticks. Just like bridegrooms and wives. Their bullshit I slice. The world Jesus divide. Who was wrong, who was right. I made it obvious.